How's it going guys? My name is Savarsh and I hope you're having a very good day. This is going to be a weekend update where I show you guys a sneak peek of what's going on in my garage, both my garage and my shop and all of my cars, especially this one. I'm super excited because this, if you guys don't know, is my 2008 Lamborghini Gallardo Spider and it's, it's nearly done. Guys? Hey, what, what, what are you doing? So they're actually helping me. They're helping me uh, finish this car. This guy, you might know if you've seen my videos. His name is Hendo. He has a really cool shop called Switchback Racing. He does a lot of turbo installs and uh, fabrication, all that stuff. And this guy, his, he does not do turbo installs, but he's, uh, he's, tr he's trying his best. I, you know he what? does I, welder installs. Yeah, I, I totally know what I'm doing here with the welders. You just um, scoot into the... That's... So, dude! Hey, Anyway, so yeah, go ahead with your video. I'm just, uh, I'm just set up. Are you a welder. classically train, trained welder? Yeah, I was trained by Bon Jovi. So uh, I actually have a welder. I bought a welder. This is the same welder that I used with uh, Tony, the welding Jedi. Actually, he couldn't be here today because he has a day job. Uh, what? Yeah, I'm, 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 I'm like, I'm like all of us. He just works all the time, and um, yeah, he's definitely gonna get a ride when this is over. But uh, right now, we're gonna do everything kind of DIY and uh, on our own. So this is exactly the same welder that we used to make this whole turbo system. Uh, so we know that it works. And today, well, not not today. It's gonna be in the next episode. But uh, for me today. I'm going to be doing a lot of uh, fabrication, and when I say I, 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 I mean I mean somebody else. I mean somebody else. Uh, I'm I, I'm gonna do some work. I'm gonna do some work. So let's get back onto this. Now I just finished putting the interior on, and today we're gonna be finishing up the exhaust. But I want to show you guys something really really cool. So I took my bumper and uh, rear panel to the body shop, and. It looks absolutely spectacular. Now I took it to uh, Eurocar Body Shop, well, the same body shop where I took the car for the whole paint job, and they did a fantastic job. This is the LP570 style bumper, and I just put it under here just to wrap it up. Guys, look at that. That looks so good. So I had them do this part in uh, matte black, uh, just this to make it look a little sporty, and this in gloss black. And when I polish it up and put it on the car, it's gonna look real, real good. I can't wait. But we actually have to put this on the car now so we can measure where the exhaust tips are gonna come out because we have to weld those up. And after that, we're gonna do some welding for the oil system because the oil system is, uh, well, it's, it's, it's leaking a little bit into the turbo, so we have to fix that. But that's gonna be coming up in the next episode or two. Uh, it's going to be a lot of work and we're actually getting that done. But let's go on to this car. This car actually hasn't seen too much action on my channel because it's been my daily driver for a little while since my S600 kind of went out of commission. But this car is, I, I love driving this. It has supercharged five liter making around 550 horsepower with that VRP tune. It has coilovers and I am going to put a uh, six speed manual transmission. The transmission is actually over there, but uh, this is going to be one of the projects that I tackle after I do this one. So I can't wait for that to happen. Um, I, I do love this car. I'm not selling it unless it's to someone like Jay Leno or something. But uh, this, is, this is one of my dream cars and I, I love driving it. I think it does need some bigger wheels though. These wheels are a little too small. So coming up to this truck, this truck is something that you guys have been asking about a lot. And it's, it's also a daily driver of sorts. Now, I've been doing the uh, parts runs in this truck. I've been doing grocery runs in this truck and I, I love it. It hasn't skipped a beat. It is filthy though. It is very, very dirty. I mean, look at this. This is just kind of yellowed, caked on mess. I do have to do a deep clean, a deep polish to this and maybe I'll make a video out of it. Just making this truck as nice and clean as it can be. That is not good. It also needs a lot of maintenance, so uh, oil change, that sort of stuff, but I do need to do uh, injectors. I want to get this truck a little bit faster, a little bit more efficient, so I think injectors for this truck, um, maybe a little bit more powerful, and also I want to get a compressor housing for the turbo, make that turbo a little more efficient, and also uh, a downpipe, because the downpipe is leaking and it's leaking out some boost and it's leaking out some power. I don't, I don't like that, especially on something that weighs 7,600 pounds. So uh, this is going to get a complete overhaul, uh, at least cosmetically, in the coming weeks, and uh, then a mechanical overhaul at some point, because I want this thing to, I don't want it to roll cold. That, 
that is not good. That means that you are actually uh, burning more fuel or you're wasting fuel. Uh, actually learned that from Gail Banks. You're not supposed to have uh, black soot come out of the exhaust. That's not good. So the plan today after I leave you guys is I have to get that onto that and then we will get that ready in the next few days. That's going to be a lot of fun. Hope you guys uh, join me on the journey because it definitely is a journey, especially when we have uh, some metal fabrication going on. It's always, it, it, it's never, it's never a quick process. I know you guys want to see my shop and I do have some very big announcements at the shop. So, all right, take a look at what we have here. That is not what we're talking about. Neither is that. So, uh, <laughs> Welcome to my garage, and I do have a lot of announcements to make. Actually, the first announcement is I am a dummy, apparently, because when I debuted my Tang Toolbox last week, uh, you guys really liked it, but some of you actually pointed out something, and it's the fact that I didn't use the uh, categorization system. They, they, there's a little system that you can use to uh, actually put everything in its spot, kind of like Legos. So if you take a look now, I have everything in a spot and there's these interlocking uh, sort of red tabs that I didn't have last time. I just put these uh, plastic pieces in. So now everything is, it, it's just perfect. I really like this system. It's very simple. And I did it the whole box through. Uh, take a look at that. So uh, this toolbox was uh, provided to me by Tang. It's a 715 piece ultimate tool kit and I love it. I can't wait to start working on it. Well, start working with it because we have actually started working with it uh, for this car. This is Andrew's, Andrew's over there. This is Andrew's 2011 Mini Cooper S and uh, we have started filming Art of the Flip. We already have the first episode done and it looks really good. You can see that some of the, uh, well, some of the D mods have already been done. We've done the uh, front end. It looks a lot more stock. Uh, we just have to do some more as far as the suspension and the wheels and whatnot. So we did use this tool set. And if you guys want to check out these tools, I really recommend them. Uh, just uh, check out the link below. You'll see all of Tang stuff and they, they do really good work. Now onto the cars. Mainly this one. I think I'm going to sell this, guys. And I think I'm going to sell it before I do anything to it. And I know a lot of you were uh, hoping for me to do something on this. I would like to do something. Uh, it, it's, it's one of my favorite cars. However, I just got a really good opportunity to buy something. I'm not going to tell you what, but it's, it's to buy something absolutely insane. It's more insane than anything I've ever had, uh, including the Lamborghini I have now. So I have an opportunity, but the problem is I don't have the money for that right now. So I have to sell off some projects. And since this is a project that is pretty much at the end of the list uh, in terms of what I'm gonna do next, I'm gonna do the Bentley and Supra and uh, also my SL55, this will have to go. So if you guys are interested, this is a 95 Dodge Viper RT10. It's it is bone stock. Mechanically, everything is great. It's uh, in really good working order. Starts up, runs just fine. Uh, I do have a lot of the new old stock pieces, like this piece that uh, attaches to here, this uh, kind of heater box thing. I do have that brand new. I have some, actually, I have some performance parts. I have a brand new differential with uh, some 355 gears, which makes this car a lot more peppy because when this car was stock, it didn't really have great acceleration. I think the gears were just really, really long. And uh, with some 355 gears, it really kind of wakes the car up. So um, this car definitely needs some work. Uh, the body panels are on there, but just not very well. They're not fastened down. So it would need some cosmetic work. I think it'd probably need one of these, uh, one of these uh, sport roofs. I think you can get one of these for 300 bucks, but everything else, it's, it's on there. It'll come with everything I have here. So I have the roof, I have a cover, I have the windows. Uh, I have basically everything for this car. Uh, it does come with a salvage title, uh, but it, th there's no crash damage at all because this frame was actually replaced. Everything underneath looks absolutely flawless. It looks really clean. There's no oil leaks, nothing like that. So um, I haven't driven the car, so uh, just buyer beware there, but uh, the car has, the car turns on every single time and it has some exhaust work done. The cats were deleted, so it sounds really good. Now, if you guys are interested in this car, then I'd let it go for 15 grand. That's what I paid for it. Actually, I paid more than 15 grand for this because I ended up paying two grand for all the other parts. So uh, you're, you're getting this at a discount. So I got this, 
plus all the other parts, and uh, it's, a, it's a good car. Obviously, it would need to get towed um, because I wouldn't really put this on the road with uh, those wheels, and it probably needs an alignment and whatnot. Uh, but just as a project, this is one really, really solid project. So on to this thing. Uh, I haven't done anything to this car. This is my daily driver, my 2007 S600. And that's because it had a leak at the connector for the automatic transmission and it's been leaking transmission fluid. So uh, I'm just gonna leave that alone for now. Uh, I have ordered all the parts that uh, I need to do a uh, fluid flush and uh, gasket change and all that stuff. So I will be doing that uh, soon enough. And uh, after I do the Lambo, I'm going to be doing some maintenance to my car. So uh, we're gonna be doing some stuff to that uh, truck right there. We're gonna be doing stuff to this and they're gonna be standalone episodes. It's not gonna be a project in itself, but just getting these things kind of up and running and making sure that they're as good as they can be. I want this thing to be the ultimate daily driver because it just, it's such a good daily driver. So uh, that's the plan for that. But for this guy, it's uh, it's a little bit of a different plan. So this, uh, I actually have to get the engine. Uh, I have a range to get an engine uh, in Atlanta. Hopefully that's, uh, that's gonna be the case in the upcoming weeks. And this is gonna be on the docket for the channel after the Lamborghini because I think this can be done relatively quickly. I'm just gonna change the engine, put the, put the new, well, new to me engine in, and then we are going to uh, make sure that everything is uh, spick and span, and uh, we're gonna probably paint the front bumper and the rear bumper, maybe uh, bring the wheels out a little more, just put some spacers on it or something, and then we can also do some proper tires because these tires, I believe, are just way too small. It just looks really sunken in. It don't, don't look that great. Also, we have to fix this window right here, but that's really not hard. So this car will be going up for sale for the same reason why my uh, Viper is going up for sale, but that's after it's done because this can be done really quickly and I don't have to wait on, let's say, a body shop to uh, take a month to do. Uh, so this will be a, a pretty quick turnaround and this should be looking really good. Maybe we'll even do some exhaust work, maybe make it sound a little more rotty. So the Supra is another thing that I'm really excited about doing. And this one's not gonna get sold right away. I might actually hold on to this a little bit because Supra values are climbing. And if I have a car that makes a lot of horsepower and sounds right and it's, it's the right color. And uh, I mean, this one is a clean example. It hasn't had any accidents. It's just kind of tired. I think I'm just gonna have this car repainted. So I might take this car to the body shop uh, now. So by the time it's done, then we can get onto the engine stuff. And uh, then we can do all the, you know, the turbo noises and, and the, the real high horsepower and the stuff that you'd expect from a Supra of this caliber. So uh, this is gonna be coming up likely after this. Uh, and then we'll, we'll get that done pretty quickly because I have all of the parts. I just got the last part for the puzzle. I got the, uh, tweaked performance custom wiring harness. So I just got that in two days ago and that's gonna make this wiring a breeze. All I have to do is install that harness and we have a standalone uh, AEM um, engine management unit and it's just gonna, it's gonna make this project move so much quicker. And that brings us to this. Now this is, well, if you guys are unfamiliar, my 95 Ferrari F355 Spider used to be Hoovy's car. And uh, well, this is what happened when, uh, yeah, well, I, this, this happened in, in, its, in its previous life. So I have to uh, take this engine out. I'm very curious as to uh, what is actually usable on this car. And that should, be, that should be an episode coming up, hopefully this year. I, I wanna start this project this year, but uh, I'm gonna be stripping everything away from this car. And uh, I'm just gonna see what's left. I wager that there's like, I don't know, you guys can tell me, but I think there's like 30% of usable parts on this car. I mean, considering what I paid for this car, I'm not gonna release it just yet. Uh, I will in my reveal video, but considering what I paid for this car, I think it's it's a pretty good value for what I got. So I think that I, I can definitely bring this back to life and maybe even add a turbo or two. Yo, Hendo, yes. come over here. What are, what, are, what are you doing, what are you doing? I'm talking about sprinkling in, you know, insults and stuff. Okay, all right. so. What do you Nothing think? Nothing technical right now. So what do you think about uh, putting like a turbo right here? Yes, there's plenty of space for a turbo right there and we should 100% do it. Okay, so we're doing that. Um, I'm thinking a single turbo just because it's a three and a half liter, which is very, very similar 
to uh, 350Z, which you work on I know sort of all guy, the time? Yes, yeah. You, you, know you, know you know the guy? You know the guy? Are you the guy? I can, I can hook that up. Okay, okay, cool. Yeah, I know a guy. All right, so um, I think one single turbo, maybe like a 62 mil, just makes this kind of real real nice response and stuff like that yeah yeah just for response and uh it's not going to be running a ton of psi maybe like Car's 10 very lightweight so yeah responsive uh we don't want to uh overpower the rear tires too much obviously yeah lightweight, lightweight uh and also i heard those transmissions are a little questionable the, actually the transmissions are pretty stout in this car the transmissions are very stout and what's interesting is maybe some people don't know this Huh? Is it the input shaft that's... May, I'm, I'm, actually, I, I don't know if the input shaft is bad or not, but I know that turbo setups on this car actually do make a decent amount of power and they do drag launches pretty well. But what's cool about this, and maybe some people might not know this, but if you come down here, you can see this thing. That is uh, where the clutch is. So the clutch is not between the engine and transmission. The clutch is actually at the back of the transmission. Sure. So it's a lot easier to change. Like you can actually change this clutch out in like just a few hours versus taking out this entire assembly and uh, having to support the, uh, the engine, having to support the transmission like I did in my Lambo. So that's a lot easier just in case we do burn out a clutch. It's not the end of the world. Yeah, yeah. So um, this is gonna be coming up at some point, uh, I want to get this uh, started by the end of the year. Just, may maybe just to take all this out and seeing what the bones of the car are like. And I think they're fine. And then we're also going to be doing a hard top swap. Yeah, that would be awesome. Yeah, so a hard top swap is, um, we're going to make this look like the Berlinetta. And we're actually going to take a roof from a Berlinetta and graft it on here because the bodies are exactly the same. So that's going to look really good because I really don't like the spider top. It, it just, the, the lines of the car don't, they don't look very good, at least not in comparison to a Berlinetta. The Berlinetta, the lines come out to like here and it just, it's a very, very nice looking car. And then we're going to paint it. I don't like black. And we're also going to change those wheels. So, I mean, with all that, the hard top and the turbo and the, the rebuild and all that stuff, this is looking more and more like a SEMA build. So maybe that is gonna be what I do because I saw a lot of builds in SEMA and I figured, hey, I can do one of those. So uh, maybe if a company wants to have me at their booth, I would mm. love to for this to be a SEMA build for 2019. Will you guys let me know what you think? Uh, is that crazy or you know, is that something you guys wanna see or is this even doable? I don't know, you guys let me know. So that's gonna be it for today. I hope you guys liked it. Um, I am gonna be answering questions, but I'm gonna be answering questions with uh, my friend Andrew over there on our Car Guys Talk podcast, so check that out. Link check will out be the in- podcast, guys. Check out the, sorry. Andrew's yelling. If you'd like to contact me, all the social links will be down below. But this is me telling you that on all these cars, ex except maybe the Viper, because it's for sale, and if you guys want to buy it, it's, uh, yeah, just email me. Um, <laughs> on all these cars, you guys need to wrench every day. See you later.